again, this feels so incredibly weird. It feels so weird to be filming. It feels so weird to be filming in this room. First of all, let's address the obvious here. Aside from the stomping on the ceiling, we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, I'm in the middle of doing my hair and makeup to film more videos for you guys. I'm back to filming today and I'm so, so, so excited. But I'm actually at the point where I'm getting ready to curl my hair. So I figured uh, I'll just turn on the camera and like curl my hair with you guys and talk about life and update you guys on what's going on. I did a little bit of a life to... Blah, blah, blah. I did a little bit of a life update in my plan with me, but I know that not all of you guys watch my plan with me videos, so we're gonna do it right now. So for those who do not know, I took about a month off of filming. It might have actually been more than that. Um, the last video I filmed, I had purple hair, and as you can see, I do not have purple in my hair anymore. Maybe a teeny tiny, no, I think it's gone. Um, so I took about six weeks off of YouTube so that I can move. So I moved all the way across the country. I kind of feel like a broken record because I feel like I've told you guys this a million times, but it might have been on other social media platforms. I'm not too sure. Um, I moved all the way across the country. So I am born and raised in Arizona. I lived there for 20 nine years almost of my life because I'm now 29. I had a birthday, another life update. Um, but we, Matt and I moved to Charlotte. So we moved to Charlotte. We actually got here on my 29th birthday. So 29 is a year that I will never forget. That's for sure. I'm also getting married this year. Well, not this year, but I'll be 29. It's next year, but I'll still be 29 if that makes sense. So uh, anyways, yeah, we moved, we moved all the way across the country. The reason why we moved was for work. A lot of people have asked, why did you move? It's for work. A lot of people have also asked, where do I work? Um, that's something that I actually don't talk about on any of my social media platforms. So personal or otherwise, I actually just don't talk about where I work. So that is that. So yeah, we moved all the way to Charlotte and we've been here for about three weeks now. Is that right? Three weeks? Yeah, about three weeks now. And I, I love it, you guys. Of course I miss Arizona. You know, actually, I don't miss Arizona, like, as a state. It is so hot there, you guys. I've been watching, like, my friends who live there, their Snapchats, and I've been looking on, like, Facebook and stuff. And it's, like, it's, like, 120 degrees there right now. I don't, I don't miss the desert at all. But, of course, I miss my family and friends. That's the obvious. I haven't quite felt like homesick yet, but I think that's because I've just been so, so, so busy. It's been like nonstop go, 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 go since we've been here, which is why I had to take a break from filming because it's been unpacking and setting up the apartment and going to do this and going to do that and going back to work and that's been weird. And so it's just, um, yeah, it's been, it's been go, go, go. So I totally lost my train of thought. I don't remember what I was saying. That's probably how this video is going to be. It's gonna be very random and very chatty and very all over the place. It's gonna be a lot like my Plan With Me videos, so if you like this kind of chattiness, then you should check out my uh, Plan With Me videos. But anyways, so yeah, we, we moved to Charlotte. I love it. I think the weather is beautiful. I actually do not mind the humidity very much, surprisingly. Everybody was like, oh my God, you're gonna hate the humidity and it's a different kind of hotness, um, that's for sure. It's not like the dry desert heat, but I really don't mind it very much. My hair's kind of getting used to it. My skin, I thought for sure, was going to freak out, and my skin's been kind of the same as it was in Arizona. I think it's a little bit less dry, which is good, but overall my skin is pretty much the same. So, um, I don't mind the humidity. I don't like the rain. It rains a lot here, which I guess is kind of abnormal. Um, a lot of people say that North Carolina typically doesn't rain very much. I guess a couple of years ago there was actually a huge drought. Um, but it's rained like crazy. Like, almost every single day that we've been here, it's rained. Which is crazy to me. Hello, desert rat. Doesn't rain in Arizona. <laughs> So, um, but, whoops, but the weather is beautiful, you guys. Like, it is just, today is a picture-perfect day. It's like, 
I think it's like 80 degrees, no rain, very little humidity. I think it's like 40% humidity. Um, but it's, it's beautiful here. It's so green. There's trees everywhere. There's hills. And people laugh at me when I say things like that, but Arizona doesn't have green. It doesn't have hills. It's a desert. Everything is brown. There's trees, but not like the trees you have here. Like Matt and I were driving to a uh, South Park Mall, if you're from the Charlotte area, and there was a point on one of the roads, I don't remember what road it was, but it was like a tunnel of trees. And I was like, this is so pretty. Like, this is something that you would see in like a postcard or in a movie or something like that. Like, it's just so beautiful here. And even just the architecture and the houses and the, just like the buildings are different. And I, I really, really, really like it here a lot so far. So the people are really nice. You get that like Southern, but not too Southern. You know what I mean? Like hospitality, everybody's super nice. Even the, uh, the bums are nice, except for I did have one bum call me the B word because I wouldn't give her my ID. She asked me for my ID. She was like, can I borrow your ID to go pick up a food box from uh, the food bank? I'm like, no. <laughs> so that was a little bizarre, but anyways, ooh, it's been a while since I've used this. Um, what was I saying? So yeah. Overall, I really like it. Um, we live in an apartment now, which is different. Um, it's been a while since I've lived in an apartment. It's been about five years since I've lived in an apartment. And um, <coughs> I just like ate that hairspray. <coughs> so throughout college, I of course lived in apartments. I've lived in one, two, three. Is that right? One, two, three different apartments, um, but I've always lived on the top floor. I've never lived like in the middle or on the bottom. I've always lived on the top floor. Um, for one, it's just kind of safer and I, well, two of the times I lived in apartments, I lived alone. And so when you're a girl in her early 20s living alone, it's just a little bit safer as far as like break-ins and stuff go. It's also safer because I typically would let Lola out on the patio with like a doggy door. And I always had this fear that someone was going to reach over and like steal her if we were on the bottom floor. So I've always lived on the top floor. So I've never had people that live above me. Well, now we don't live on the top floor. We live in the middle and there is people above us and they stomp. They, I swear their feet are made of lead. Like if you guys can hear stomping throughout this video, it's the people who live above me. And in my mind, I'm like, why do you walk so much? Like, it's like they're marching up there. It's like they, why are you not efficient in your walking around your apartment? Like they are just non-stop walking. So if you hear boom, 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 or even like thuds in the background, it's the people above me walking. And they, the first, the night before I had to go back to work. So I took two weeks off of work, one week to get here and then one week to kind of get settled in. So the Sunday night before I had to go back to work for the first time, the stompers, that's just what we call them, the stompers, were stomping until about 1 a.m. I'm not kidding, 1 a.m. And if you guys don't know, there's a three hour time difference between Arizona and North Carolina. Um, it's three hours ahead here. And so I wasn't quite adjusted to the time yet. I'm still, I'm still not quite adjusted to the time difference yet, but um, I had decided when I got here, I wanted to start going to the gym in the morning instead of the afternoon. So back in Arizona, I would go to Orange Theory, um, after work every day, right around three, four, five, depending on when I got off of work. Um, and here, the work ethic, oh, my nose is totally running. The, I don't want to call it work ethic, but just the work culture here is a lot different and I guess in Arizona we want to start working as soon as possible so we can leave as soon as possible and that's definitely like a west coast mentality but also because it's so hot there that we want to get our days started when it's you know before it's a million degrees outside so um yeah I would start working a lot earlier but here they don't do that they don't start working until 9 10 10 30 and that is weird for me. Like, that is super bizarre for me. 
And so, um, in my mind, I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to be able to go to the gym after work anymore unless I go to, like, an 8 o'clock class. And that's just, that's just too late. Like, who works out at 8 o'clock, you know? So I was like, okay, I'm going to have to start going to the morning classes, 5 a.m., 5 a.m. And so the Sunday night before I went back to work, I had my alarm set for 4.15 so I could take the dogs out because that's another thing, getting the dogs adjusted to the apartment has been difficult, we'll just say that. Um, so I had my alarm set for 4.15 and then the stompers, stomp, 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 until like 1 a.m. So I had to wake up in three hours after they finally decided to stop stomping, which really was three hours earlier for me because of the time difference. So I was waking up at basically one o'clock in the morning, I know it was four o'clock here, but you know the time difference, to go to the gym on three hours of sleep, you know, three, four hours of sleep. And so I did it and I was really proud of myself. And if you follow me on Snapchat, you've probably heard a lot of these stories. Um, but by the time three o'clock, four o'clock hit, I was exhausted. I felt hung over. Like I felt like I had partied all night and I was hitting that wall where I was nauseous and I had a headache and I was so tired. And so I came home that day and I just like passed out almost immediately. It was awful. So I've gone to the gym at 5 a.m. three times. Is that right? Two or three times since I've been here. But I just, I just don't know if I can do it anymore. So now I'm going to try to adjust and go a little bit later, like at nighttime. But it's just... Little things like that, like altering my life has been, I don't want to say difficult, but just different, I guess. So anyways, there's stompers above me and unfortunately I can't control them at all. So I can't like wait for them to stop stomping to film videos. I mean, who knows when they're going to stop stomping, you know? So. Um, and I only film on the weekends because I work Monday through Friday, so they're going to be home. They're going to be stomping. It is what it is. Um, my apartment also overlooks the pool, which is another thing I've kind of purposefully never done before in my apartment life because um, it's loud. You know, like, I don't know. I Not that I don't enjoy laying by the pool, but, like, it gets rowdy out there. It gets loud. So my apartment now overlooks the pool. So... I don't know how that's going to be with filming right now. There's nobody out there, but it's 10 o'clock. So people are probably like just now waking up because people do things late here. There's also fruit flies. I've never had fruit flies in my life before. Our apartment has fruit flies, like those little teeny tiny itty bitty flies freaking everywhere. How do I get rid of those? Do you guys know? Let me know down below. Anyway, so that's going to be... Gosh, my nose is super itchy. That's going to be different for me. Um, I've kind of adjusted to the stomping, but the dogs have not, so they bark. And right now they're eating bones in the living room. So they got their mouths full, so they're not barking. But it's been hard. Like, adjusting to apartment life... Am I sweating? Oh my god, I'm totally sweating. Adjusting back to apartment life after living in a house for so long... I don't know, it's it's difficult, you guys, but it's a beautiful apartment complex. It's so nice. It's right in um, the middle of South End, so if you guys are familiar with the Charlotte area, we live in South End, which is similar to, for my Arizona folks watching, um, it's kind of similar to South Scottsdale, where it's like young professionals, only the young professionals here are different. <laughs> from the young professionals in South Scottsdale. Um, I think it's less, I don't know, like the young professionals in South Scottsdale are very like frat boy, like very frat boy, very like meathead, just I want to drink all the time. And it's not really like that here. Um, but it is a younger crowd, probably like 20s, early 30s. So we fit right in, um, and it's young professionals, so people who dress really nicely, go into work every day, um, and it's, it's really nice. It's really nice to be in that kind of environment. Um, I lived in South Scottsdale 
when I was in college, like my last year of college, and I liked it, but it, this is different. But that's the closest thing I can compare it to for those who are who are curious from Arizona. So, um, yeah, so we live in the middle of a city, which we've actually, I've never lived in the middle of a city like this before, like a city where everything is walking distance, like the grocery store is walking distance, um, the gym, walking distance, I can get there in five minutes, maybe, um, the star, there's a Starbucks super close to our apartment, like everything is so, so, so close, um, which is really, really nice, it's nice to not have to drive very much, now of course if we want to go to the mall, or if we want to, like Matt's at the movies right now, that kind of stuff, yeah, of course we're going to have to drive, not everything can be walking distance, but the public transportation here is great. We can take public transportation to work. And so it's kind of our way of experiencing city living before we have kids. You know, now's the time to do it. So that's what we're doing. So I really, I really, really like it. The apartment complex is beautiful. It's pretty new. Everything is really new. There's like updated appliances and stuff like that. I did do a apartment tour on my snapchat so snapchat fam you already know what it looks like but um what else do i want to talk about if you guys have ideas for videos please let me know what you want to see i'm having a little bit of a hard time uh thinking of videos to film so not only did i take a six week break because i was moving but I also kind of just needed the break from YouTube. For those of you who do YouTube videos, you kind of know, like, it gets exhausting after a while. And for a while there, like, I just was in this weird funk where it wasn't really fun anymore. You know what I mean? It was just kind of like, I'm doing it because I have to do it, but I don't have to do it. Like, this is my hobby. This is not my job. I don't make sufficient money off of YouTube to live. I know some people do, but for those of you who don't know, I've been doing YouTube for three years now. Never once have I done anything sponsored. No sponsored videos, no sponsored YouTube, um, Instagram posts, nothing. I've never done anything sponsored before. And I've done that for a reason because for one, I want to try to be as genuine and as real with you guys as possible. So when I'm recommending products, you know it's a product that I actually like. It's not like I'm talking about it because I'm getting paid to talk about it. You know what I mean? So I want to be as genuine as possible. Um, but for two, I haven't been contacted by a company yet that I want to be sponsored by, you know? Again, because I want to be genuine. I don't want to talk about a product that like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to talk about a product just because they're paying me to talk about a product, if that makes sense. Unless it's a company that I totally support or a product that I've used and I really like it. And you know what I mean? I want it to be natural and, and like organic. And um, every company who has contacted me for sponsorships so far, it hasn't felt that way. Um, so, so yeah, I, I'm an affiliate, which means sometimes the products I talk about, if you buy them via the link that I have in the description box, I get like a little bit of money off of it, but it's not, it's not big dollars, you guys. It is, um, it is, it's not very much at all. So I'm an affiliate. And then of course, if you guys don't know already, um, Google pays you AdSense, like you get paid for the ads that play before your videos. So, um, what am I, what are, where am I even going? I went on a big old tangent there. If you want to know more about like how you can make money on YouTube, let me know because it's something that's really, really been on my mind a lot lately. And I know a lot of people talk about it. I was just watching one of my friends, uh, Snapchat videos about it. Um, so I, I know a lot of people talk about it and a lot of people want to know about it. So let me know if you want like a more detailed video about it, but um, I don't remember what I was saying, but this isn't my full-time job, it's a hobby, and I think when it starts to not feel like a hobby, I kind of need to take a step back and reset, you know what I mean? So I am refreshed, I am ready, I have like three videos I'm filming today, and I'm so incredibly excited for those videos. 
They're about products and things that I've been using for a while and I'm just so excited to share it with you guys. You guys are my friends. You know, you are my friends that um, aren't going to judge me. <laughs> You're not going to judge me for talking about makeup and loving makeup and um, I am really excited to, to be back into filming and to talk to you guys again. So, um, let me know what kind of videos you want to see. Of course, there's the videos that I think I'm probably always going to film because I really like to film them. So, like, haul videos. I love me some haul videos. However, they're going to be a lot more sporadic now because, um, it's more expensive to live here in Charlotte, but I'm saving for a wedding. Remember, I'm getting married in like a year, so I'm saving for my wedding. So the hauls might not be as crazy as they were before, but definitely I will never stop doing hauls. Um, favorites videos, monthly favorites, I love those, and I know you guys really like those too, so I'm actually filming one today. I'm filming my June favorites, so um, definitely going to keep doing those. Um, I think empty videos you guys really like too, but... Let me know what other stuff you want to see, if there's a specific product that people have been talking about that you want to hear about and you want to know my thoughts on, let me know. I did buy the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. I have not even opened it yet because I want to do a video on that, but I have that up there. Um, I also got the Jaclyn Hill palette, which I think I'm going to film a video on today. That's why I have no eye makeup on yet. Um, I've really been liking that, you guys. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I actually really like that. Um, but let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see. I'm totally open to whatever. I want to stick mostly to makeup related videos. So I know for a while there I was doing fitness videos, Fitness Friday. Um, I might get back into those. I mean, if someone's going to be super, super sad that I stopped doing those, let me know, but I might kind of stop that for a while. Maybe once I get closer to my wedding and I get back into the crazy fitness game again, I will film, start filming those again, but what is this? I still will probably do planner videos because honestly, I really enjoy planner videos. Um, I know that they're not my highest viewed videos by any means, but I I really enjoy making planner videos, so I might keep doing those. Um, but for the most part, I want to stick to like makeup related videos, you know, because this is Mel's Makeup 88. Um, I think the last thing, I think in my mind I had it that this was going to be like a question and answer video, although I didn't ask you guys for questions, but a lot of you have asked me questions. <coughs> hairspray and <coughs> a lot of you guys have been asking about the dogs and how the dogs are doing um <laughs> I laugh because I have to I have to laugh so I was talking before about the fact that we lived in a house with a doggy door in a backyard and um Lola has actually been with me since she was five weeks old so she has moved around from house to house and apartment to apartment She's been with me my entire college life. Um, so she's used to it. She's used to going on potty pads and going on patios and balconies and, you know, weird things like that. So she's used to it, but Lily has never had to live in an apartment before. She's always had a backyard and a doggy door. So it's been a little bit of an adjustment. Um, the barking is bad. I'm just going to say that because of the stomping and the noises that they've never heard before. Um... We're getting better at the potty situation, so they do not have a doggy door. We do have a fairly big patio, a uh, balcony patio thing, but there's no way to put a doggy door in just because of the way our door is set up. We've tried, we've tried, we bought doors, we went to Home Depot, we've tried. Um, so we're having to take them out. We're having to take them for walks every couple of hours, every few hours. And um, it's been different for me, it's been different for Matt, but it's also different for them. You know, peeing on a leash is totally different from peeing in a backyard. Um, so they're, they're doing good. There's been a few accidents in the house. Luckily we have hardwood. Um, the bedrooms are carpet, but the main living area and the kitchen is hardwood. So 
We close the doors during the day. They're not allowed in the bedrooms. And there's been a couple of accidents, but they've been really good for the most part. They're chomping away on their bones right now. I can hear them. <laughs> Loving life. So, yeah, I, I can't complain. They've been good. All right, guys. Well, I think, I think I'm done with my hair. It's been a while since I've curled my hair. It's been a lot of buns lately with the humidity and stuff. I just kind of don't want to deal with it. So I just wear a bun. But it's been a while since I've curled my hair. So now that I've chatted your ear off and uh, you know another thing, my hair has been like extra shedding lately. Like, yeah, I always shed a lot, but like I am shedding a lot since I moved here. I don't know if it's the environment or what, but anyways, I know I've chatted your ear off. This video is probably going to be like half an hour long. So for those of you who have stuck around, thanks for sticking around. I'm going to kind of de-poof this hair a little bit. It's a little bit too poofy for me. And I'm going to get to filming some makeup videos. I'm so excited. So yeah, let me know down below what kind of videos you want me to film and I will add them to my list and I'll talk to you guys next time. I'm so happy to be back. Bye.